Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how to use the Select by Color tool. This tool will allow us to create selections from different colors in our project. You will have the best results with this tool if your photograph has highly contrasting colors and clear edges. Note that some of the options for this tool are shared with all the other selection tools. Click the card in the top right hand corner to learn more. After I've selected this tool, I will click on a color in my image. A selection will be created as GIMP analyzes similar colors to the point I chose. At first, the selection may misbehave like it did here and omit or select color that you didn't want. We can remedy this by using this threshold slider. With this, we can define the range of pixels we want GIMP to accept when analyzing based on the original point we selected. At a lower number, this tool will try to stay as close as possible to the original color. At a higher number, more color information is allowed. And now small differences like the shadow of the egg are added to the selection, and we've created a clean selection around this egg. This tool requires a lot of trial and error to get the selection you want, so experiment with the threshold slider until you get a good selection. Now, let's look at some extra options. Feather edges, We'll simply create a smoother boundary around the selection, almost like a buffer. This is best seen if I delete the selection portion. You can see the remaining part has left a soft edge around it. The slider bar will allow you to adjust the intensity of this feather effect. With smaller numbers producing less of an effect, and high numbers producing more. Select Transparent Areas lets you select transparency. If I have this selected and click on this transparency on the active layer, it is all selected. But I have this unselected and I click this transparency, it has a hard time analyzing anything that I just clicked, so it's hanging on around these edges around the egg. Sample merged. We'll look at all the visible pixels in your project, and color can be sampled from multiple layers. After I've decreased the opacity of the egg layer, we can see the background layer shining through. When I use this tool, it will combine the visible color information from both layers to make a selection from both layers. Select by simply lets you define what colors and pixel values you want this tool to analyze. Leaving this set to composite will analyze all colors in your project. We can select individual channels or values of pixels such as hue and brightness. Draw mask will give you a preview of the selected area as you click with your mouse. With this, I can see that the entire background will be selected. This use in tandem with the threshold slider will help you select parts of the image that you want. And that's it. You now know how to use the Select by Color tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.